Hi, I'm Kep Kepner, CPA here in Dallas. We're a professional CPA firm that believes that the CPA business is about people, not just about numbers. So we establish very strong relationships with our clients, and we're always working to improve them. So a number of years ago, I wrote a piece on how to develop trust with your clients. And hopefully you'll find this beneficial. This will be the first of three series about how to build trust. So the first thing is that you have to know and live your own values. As a company, Kepner & Company has values. We value quality work. We value efficiency. We value getting work done at a rate that makes it financially okay for our clients. We value teaching our clients about what these financial statements mean. These are all part of our values. We serve primarily small businesses that have revenues anywhere from a half a million dollars to ten million dollars. And so our values reflect the needs of that marketplace. But you have to start out trusting yourself, and you can only do that if you have a clear understanding of your own values. If I didn't understand the values of my own company, then I might spend work on, for a client, spend hours working on something that really didn't have as much value to the client. That would be because my values might be about following a particular protocol just to get a particular number. So knowing and understanding your own values is absolutely important, and then you can live those. Second thing you have to do is act consistently with those values. So every day when we come in to work, myself and my staff, are working to be very efficient to get an excellent product out to our clients at a reasonable cost. We are looking for ways to help further the financial literacy of our clients by educating them about what these financial statements mean. We are trying to educate our clients also about the impact of all of this accounting work on the growth of their business and on their taxes. So we have to act consistently with the values. The third thing is that we have to act in a way that honors ourself. I can tell you I would dishonor myself if I ran up bills on a client just to spend a lot of time and bill them for it. Of course, my clients wouldn't stand for that either, so I probably wouldn't have any clients. But the fact of the matter is, you have to you honor yourself by living your values so that your customers, your clients, know what you're about. And they know they can count on you to be a particular way. We call ourselves accountants with an attitude because we are strong, strong advocates for our clients. And that includes educating them and getting them a high quality product and making accounting mean something to their business. So you start by knowing and living your values. You then act consistently with those values. And third, you honor yourself by doing that. If, you're, if I'm honoring myself in this way and I come to you, my client, you're going to know what to expect. You're going to know who you're dealing with. So that's just the first part of building trust with your clients. Let's look forward to another issue where we talk about that further. Thanks for listening.